What's up with the squad? Back with another video. Y'all seeing the title was going down. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe. But other videos, remember to check out. Make sure y'all comment down below. Email me lifereckless@area.com or hit me on Instagram lifereckless. Definitely apologize for you know the video getting out so late. Um, our two month old uh, got uh, had to go to the hospital. Um, we took her to the hospital, the ER, um, earlier, and uh, you know they said that she had a, a, a fever. You know. Um, she's been running the fever a little bit and uh basically just told her told us to you know continue giving you know tylenol and stuff like that uh as needed um but it's it you know it's one of those sicknesses that takes its time you know takes its course so uh you know uh definitely appreciate everybody for their prayers and stuff like that um you know only one video dropped today but you know uh always a nice nice video coming from doug and exile make sure y'all uh check his channel out if you haven't uh his channel um and the video will be in the description box down below charlie no let's get a video y'all well on friday the trump lawyers had their day in court in fulton county georgia this is where i i've always said that the timing is the whole thing that the case is about it's about stopping him from running for election the lawyers brought that up during this entire case when they're asking for dismissal welcome all of you to Doug in exile. This is where the happy patriots go to get their news every day. I just put out a couple videos, sometimes three, sometimes as many as five. I'm going to give you a quick overview because today is no different. Here's the headlines. This is from NBC. Trump lawyer tells Georgia judge that a trial before November would be election interference. That's just mm -hmm. the lawyer. That's their tack. Steve Sadow, an attorney for the former president, also suggested that the criminal trial might have to wait until Trump is out of office if he's elected to another term next year. Here's Steve Sadow. That's him standing. That's Trump's lawyer. A and he's going for broke, just going, look, you might as well wait not only until the election, but because Trump's going to win. Wait till after his service as president. You're going to have to wait a long time. If Donald Trump were to stand. So at that point, I honestly feel like it once it gets to that point. I'm trying to be a uh, talk a little lower. You know, she's baby girl taking a nap, but it gets to that point. Um, look at the fact that of might as well forget about it might as well forget about it and honestly if it does get to that point there are they're going to forget about it there it's not necessarily forgetting about it but letting it go i already won i mean what else that what what else damage could you possibly do and my thing is y'all too focused on the wrong person here y'all know who to be focused on that, and that, that's what sickens me. You have people that's in office. You have somebody that's not in office, but you go after the person that's not. It's crazy. Stand <laughs> trial in Georgia next fall, it would amount to the, quote, most effective election interference, unquote, in U.S. history. True. The former president's attorney told the judge presiding over the criminal case at a hearing on Friday. Quote, can you imagine the notion of the Republican nominee for president not being able to campaign for the presidency because he's in some form or fashion in a courtroom defending himself, unquote, Shadow House. That is, that is the biggest insult around the world is that America is going to have a very high profile election. And one of the candidates, Trump, is on trial by his opponent. Just let that sink in. Guys, this is the Democrat brand, and this is what the election is about. No clear distinction. Are you a Trump kind of person? Are you the kind of person that votes for the party that puts its opponent on trial and tries to pr imprison him? Quote, that would be the most effective election interference in the history of the United States. I don't think anybody wants to be in that position. That's a threat to them. I don't think anyone wants to be on the news about that. Do you judge? I would hope the state would understand the Republicans believe he should be the nominee and he should get the same fair chance to the campaign and national politics as the Democrat nominee. I love this. They're playing like children. Don't you think so? Mm -hmm. He told the superior. But they know that, though. Like, that's what kills me is the full fact of even necessarily going keep keep putting it out there that you want to sit there and hunt and hunt and hunt. 
you know, just because you don't want them to be present, like that, that it bothers me. It bothers me. I keep on telling y'all, it bothers me. Expect this, this whole case. It's annoying. It's annoying. Superior Court Judge Scott McAfee is basically pressuring McAfee. Or are you going to disagree with that? Let's see you do that in public. Now, this is the prosecution, okay, the, her, the Fannie Willis corrupt lawyers. Quote, this is not election interference. This is moving forward with the business of Fulton County. I don't think that it in any way impedes defendant Trump's ability to campaign or do whatever he needs to do to seek office, Wade said, while also acknowledging to the judge that the trial would be expected to last at least four months past the election day if it were to start in August. So they're trying to start next year in August. It's going to obviously affect the election day. This is not, I, this could get delayed. I, I don't know if this is going to work. If, for the Democrats, guys. Sorry, you guys are losers. Uh, Judge McAfee did not set a trial date and said the issues raised Friday were, quote, something we're going to be taking up in great detail in the new year, unquote. So they're already waiting till January to talk on this. This is getting wow. delayed, guys. This is getting pushed. And it, it's annoying because it's, like you say, it's getting delayed. You're, you're, in that case, you are losing. You're losing. It's taking time and taking time and taking time. By the end, I mean, he's going to be president. I mean, Bushed. come on now. The judge sees the train coming at him going, I don't want to be the guy who went against democracy in the United States. Sadow said later during the hours long court hearing that he wanted to subpoena Jack Smith's office for witness information that could be relevant in the Fulton County case, saying there's, quote, no doubt they have information that's, quote, relevant and material, unquote, to his case. What could that material be? I'm speculating here. But how, did he, how about an email from Fan, between Fannie Willis and Jack Smith saying, hey, I got an idea. Let's uh, put Trump up on trial to stop him from being elected. What if that email existed? So that's Trump mm. lawyer said, if they don't get the information, wow. it could lead to their charges being dismissed in Georgia. He's hinting there. Basically, if your client loses, if Trump loses and they did not allow him to go out and get all the information he wanted to subpoena Jack Smith's emails. And he said, that's the reason why I lost. Then it can get overturned or dismissed because they didn't allow the lawyers to do their job. Okay, under questioning from the judge, attorney Donald Wakeford Lord. of DA Willis's office did not dispute that his office has not been coordinating or sharing information with Jack Smith's office, guilty. Got you, sucker. This is coordinated. Out to Jack Smith. What does Jack Smith have to do with Georgia? With Fulton, little Fulton, Georgia. Little Fannie Willis. Oh, he's conducting, operating straight down from Biden. This is how the only way Biden can win an election. I think Trump's going to make that excellent case. I see what you're saying, but I don't see. I don't. I don't see it. I don't. Even if I don't want to speak on it. I don't want to speak on it. I was about to say something crazy. I was about to say something pertaining to Trump, if not, you know, winning, knock on wood. This is wood. Um, but even if that's the case, I don't, I don't see, I don't, I, I, I can't see Biden winning again. Sorry, I can't see it. I don't see it. I don't see it. Case in court, they're going to have to at least delay it past the election. So this is a huge loss for fans. He was lost. I feel like, honestly, I look at the fact that Fanny is 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 she's stuck right now. She's stuck, and I can definitely say, run out of time, run out of time, losing losing the uh, dismissing the whole thing. Honestly, because it, it's just unnecessary. It's a hunt. So I look at it, legend. You know, got to speak in, you know, cold terms. But the whole situation of it, just, you know, what Doug was saying, this is this is Biden's only chance, you know, to get of, you know, winning. I don't, I don't see it because it's so many people.
that's waking up and, and seeing what's going on, what he's done, what's going on now as Americans, what's going on in your neighborhood, what's going on here, what's going on. It's so many things that people are waking up and seeing. It's so much content that's out there. You know, it's so many people that's out there. And that's why it's really important. I have a lot of young, young subscribers, you know, on my channel. And I strive to get them. Not even if they, you know, they don't have to watch all my videos. But just see one to get an understanding on what's going on. Because it is important, especially when they are the future. But make sure you hit that like button, that subscribe. Definitely appreciate y'all tuning in and watching this reaction. If y'all can give a little small prayer for our two month ago, two month though, that'll be definitely appreciated. Um, definitely much love. I love all of y'all. Um, you know, uh, definitely been a journey. Can't wait to hit 300K because I know it's coming. Uh, make sure you hit that like button, that subscribe, and catch y'all next one.